Hmm. Hey, good morning, good morning. This is 10 Men Talk with Terrence at 10 a.m. Hey, man, on Facebook Live. Also streaming on YouTube. Just put in T T N one zero M I N talk T A L K W's backslash Terrence at T 10 a.m. God bless you. <laughs> hey, this is 10 Men Talk with Terrence, and uh, I have an interesting topic today. This has been a really good week. Uh, Chiefs won, go Chiefs. Me and uh, wife and the Grimes family went to uh, see the game this week. It was, it was a beautiful thing. Uh, shout out for safe travel for my brother, Pat and Kevin, man. Um, Pastor, man, spoke a Pastor E. Pastor spoke a powerful word. I'm going to bring a topic he brought up later on uh, in the topic on today. But I just want to thank everybody for continuing to pray for my family. Uh, we did lose a loved one. Uh, continue to keep my family in prayer. Uh, uh, keep Michelle and family and Billy's and family in prayer. The Blacks, the, the Hacks. And uh, just 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 keep my family in prayer. We thank you very much. Continue. Uh, we have wonderful news with my sister, my mama, Rally. Thank God for them and everything. But let me tell you something, man. God is so good. And a lot of times we, we fall short. I mean, even when, uh, that's, it basically kind of takes me to my topic on today. Uh, when everything is falling apart, it's time for a change. That means things that, certain things you do, you don't do, you shouldn't do no more. Certain things you do do. And there comes a time we got to sit back and have our own uh, private moment. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you guys, excuse me, I've been really working out a lot. Uh, hitting the gym and, uh, you know, getting my exercise in, cardio and everything in today. And um, so just continue to keep uh, everyone in prayer. Pray for one another, you know. Uh, but let's go to my topic. When everything is falling apart, time for a change. Father, we thank you. We praise you right now. Help us and God us, strengthen us, Father. Help us to change the things that need to be changed and the things we want to change. But Father, but help us in that meantime, God, when... Things are falling apart and we're struggling and we're dealing with things, but we know that you have a plan and we thank you for the plan. But help us to understand the plan, but also try to fall in line. Also, even when we fall, Father, that you help us, that you give us the opportunity to repent. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, let's get to it. It's, scripture is 29 11, very familiar scripture, but I just want to break it down in a nutshell, okay? Here, here's my topic. It says, for I know the, the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future, watch this, and a hope. You know, and that's coming out of New King James Version, New King James Version. A lot of times, that's what sometimes people need. They need a hope. They need some type of guarantee, some type of uh, comfort to know that everything is going to be okay. And I'm going to tell everybody, everybody, everything is going to be okay. Even though things fall short, things get crazy. There's kids out here getting sick and everything. And uh, going to school, we're, we're scared. We're being faced with these challenges. But the scripture is, is, is simply saying that we all will have trying days. You know, we, minutes and moments in our lives. But there's, but, 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 but look at something. But there's the scripture. It, it gives us a comfort to know that there's hope. You know, not only to just the Christians, but to the believers that are facing challenges and situations at any time, especially this time right now. Yet we're still in the pandemic. Okay, it's important to remember that it, it that it, that it isn't a promise of immediate relief. It's letting you know that you're covered. You know, it's like you go at home in bed. Sometimes you want to comfort. You want to just lay on. You want to just lay on. Want to be comforted. And God said, "I got you covered. You're good." But also, rather than that, God has a plan for our lives, not just for now, not just for the moment, but for the future. And that's what he says in the scripture. God said, word never turn void. So he's giving you a plan, okay? So he's giving you a future and a hope that, you know, it's going to be okay. Despite our presence, our, our, our current, our present circumstance, God has a plan. I mean, sometimes we just got to walk that route. We got to go that journey. You know, a lot of things don't turn out the way we want to go. But we have to know that God is in it, you know. And like a pastor priest on the day, we, we know we got to praise Him before, while we in it, and afterwards definitely give Him a praise. You know, God promised to provide for us all in all of our situations, life, good, bad, and ugly. Okay, so just know that to be encouraged, and God got your back. 
you know, but you got to have your back too. You got to be careful not to get yourself in certain situations. I know things happen. We all have our moments. Trust me. I've had plenty of moments in my days, but, but I know without a shadow of a doubt where I come from and who's I come from, you know, nothing's perfect. You know, it's been a trying week in everybody's family, you know, uh, me and my wife was talking the other day. And that, that's the situation. My kids, you know, my daughter, you know, getting her own place, doing her own thing. You know, we, we th those are beautiful things, you know. You know, giving traveling mercy to my daughter, Sierra Clint. You know, just all these things. All my kids from Sierra, Deron, Jemima, Clint, Sissy, Tyler, all my kids, man, they, I, I, hey, I, I think we did an excellent job. You know, and we're going to keep on doing what we're supposed to be doing because that's ours. Romans 8, 28 says, And we know that all things work together for the good of them that love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. He has a plan for us when we have to be in the purpose. We also have to be in the will. Amen. And just know that all things work together for them that love the Lord. Okay. But, but, but at the end of the day, just know it's time for a change. And it is time for a change. All things going to work out. You know, if you got, you know, I, you know, my, all my kids, they're not perfect, but yet I love them. They're my kids. You know, they, they all wired. We all I'll tell you, too, we all wired differently, too. So that's how I know that scripture's for real. <laughs> you know, and we got those that are dealing with things, but we still got to pray for them and keep it moving. Amen. But let me tell you something. I, I, I trip off people, though. Seriously, I really do. I be at work so tired. People be complaining about this. You know, people trip out, you know, people trip me out sometimes, complain about a job, but yet that job is paying your bills. Give me a break. They complain about their hair being too short, too long. <laughs> but when, but when there's a person losing theirs due to cancer or chemo, complain about their weight. I need to lose weight and, and not, and, but you're not working out, but, but you at, you in McDonald's drive through at least eight minutes. Come on now. Down talking passes and leaders because they didn't attend an event of yours. I mean, seriously. But yet, we, we're still in a pandemic. And you don't know what that family going through and dealing with it. Amen. So, you know, Pastor put a post out there yesterday that tripped me out. He said, people out here dying left and right. And we mistreating folks, being mean to folks, not forgiving folks, hurting folks, dismissing folks, and, and more, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Acting like... We can't be next. Be careful. Tomorrow's not promised to no one. Okay? It's time to get our act together. It's time to stop the foolishness. Because like I said yesterday in my scripture, all my scriptures show our people. Stop playing. No weapons formed against you shall prosper. Amen? Stop playing. Come on, people. There are times we, we, we can be so selfish. And just know that it's not about you. Okay? Not about you all the time. There's a time to be selfish. Not, it's not all the time. Get out to, come on now. Just think if God was selfish with us. Something to think about, okay? Remember, it's time for a change. This is 10 Men Talk with Terrence at 10 a.m. Facebook Live. Again, YouTube. Hey, hit me up. Stop playing, okay? Subscribe, like, all right? And um, I got some old, I got some other videos on there too, man. I, I just, uh, my consultant started streaming. We're trying to put my stuff on YouTube now. I'm trying to get ready for my book. Building my brand, okay? So let's breathe real quick. Let's breathe. Get it, get it in. Let's get it in. Breathe in. Let go. One more time. Let's breathe in. Let go. One more time. I do think three times. One for the Father, Son, the Holy Ghost. Remember, it's not how you fall, baby. It's how you get back up and stay up, all right? And I remember you as close to God as you choose to be. Don't let nobody take you out your zone. Stay in your zone. You're close to God as you choose to be. But if you get out your zone, you do something stupid. Just repent. Okay? God bless you. I love you. This is 10 Men Talk with Terrence at 10 a.m. God bless you. Have a good day.